all right what's up guys it's your boy mike hawk here today I'm making a video on how to make hair um it's like the second tutorial on like, how to get better on blender so uh, i'm just gonna show you how to make hair like this i'm not gonna um do the whole thing if you want you can look at some of my speed modeling videos and see the full process for right now I'm just going to show you how basically the basics all right so this is three hairs like all like, this is the ponytail this is the I have no idea what you call this and these are the bangs or front tips I have no idea what you call this but yeah these are the three parts of the hair also I made a black version of them so these are three parts too um if you guys want to texture something i i suggest you text you have a pre like a texture already made and then you upload it and then just extrude and then it will like make some lines if you don't just if you have substance painter just unwrap it on there or just uv unwrap it I unwrapped this in Celsius Painter and then I textured it. Also, I didn't texture the tips like this. I textured it right here. So, these are the tips right here. So, yeah. Let me hide this real right quick. Alright. Let me rename this. Name, name. Uh. All right, so hide this. Now, what you basically are gonna do, is you're gonna add a cube or shift A, mesh, cube. This is what you're gonna start off with. There's two ways, two ways I do it. And my uh, friend Benir taught me. Oh, uh, so first way, scale it down a little bit. Up, scale it and then remove both of these tips um scale this up a little bit make it a little bit smaller and then make this front face uh scale it on the x-axis scale it on the y-axis so it should look something like this and then add three layers one scale it and then another one and then scale it and then merge it with M at center and it should look like this so right here now you want to get subdivision surface modifier you can do it without the subdivision surface modifier but it makes it way easier and you can just like like optimize it later so go here go here now there's two ways so first way you get you highlight all the edges right here alt shift shift all and then click these edges so these are selected bring this out increase the mean crease and then it should look something like this this is basically what it started off like but it has more vertices to bend I mean more edges to bend so it bends smooth so after that um go to auto smooth enable it now you want to mark sharp these edges right here mark them sharp so if you turn this up it's not gonna affect it um second way is you just remove these two mean creases so it has sort of like a smooth surface uh delete the um uh, clear the sharpness right there clear the sharpness right here too increase the auto smooth should look something like this i used it for this hair at first and then i just changed it until like blocky type style like this but if you guys want it like this you can do it like this you can breathe these in a little bit more so like that so 
this is probably going to be the hardest part uh, positioning the hair it's not that easy at all so so you see this right here these are really hard for me to do but I I, I did it pretty well over here so these parts right here a lot of anime characters have so basically also you gotta add a text uh yeah uh material right there duplicate it so this is going to be your main one also if you want uh these textures make sure to texture it before you do this so you don't get it all mixed up so like right here uh, like whatever texture and then texture it um if you want it like you know like that but if you don't want it like that all you have to do duplicate it move this forward on the top add a mirror modifier I normally do it with triangulate uh, modifier but you don't have to it's only for looks and you can turn on the wireframe so you just position it right here or wherever you want your hair and then move it and like move it anywhere you want position it so this is basically how the kogoshibo was how I made kogoshibo hair um bring this up a little bit move this out so you can do it this way and then there's two ways of like adding more hair strands i'm about to show you let me scale this out right quick scale this over here scale it down and then add clipping and merge it so sort of like this uh and then add your crease right there so something like that and then you, I added these on the bun right here this thing right here added these little sharp what are, I have no idea what they call but yeah added those you can increase this mean crease if you want it up more but you could just scale it if you want so scale like that and then just move it forward this is not how it's gonna look but basically it's principle of how you do it move this back and stuff so like that um okay all right so something like that and you can you can bring this down bring this down increase this beam crease and then Bring this down, bring this down, right here. Hold on, hold on, I did it wrong. So basically, if you wanna make this part right here, just, when you're done with your subdivision modifier, which I'm about to show you, but let me show you how to make different strands. So, you can either get this little hair strand and duplicate it, like right here move it uh, mirror it there and then just bend it to how you want it so like right here and then you're going to need to have a space for it so um let me so right here all right, so right there. Um, and then you just go here and then merge it. And like you can add another edge cut. I mean, yeah, that's cut. Loop cut, I mean, and then move this down and then just merge them together. So at last, uh, you're mainly going for the the strand to the already the the base that you already made so merge 
and then merge. Move that back, and then you can delete the face under it. So like that, and then you can move this around, like right here. You can add multiple, any you like, how many you like. So basically like that. This is not gonna look, but this is basically if you, this is basically how you do it though. Cause this one doesn't look that good. But you're just gonna move it around till you like it. Uh, get out more strands over here in the back side. Um, in the front right here. So I did that right here. Get out this. Rotate it. Mirror it. And then position it. And then, you know, merge it and stuff. Um, now, the second way, if you want to change this right now. You can get these edge, select these edge, these edges, and then just increase the mean increase, and then there you go. All right, now the second thing uh, you gotta learn is so how to optimize it. Also, Chris to to basically all this. He taught me basically everything about this. So um, right here. You want to apply the subdivision modifier, like let's say if you're done with it. So you're going to have all of these unnecessary edge loops right here. That is, especially if you have it like this, these creases, and it's like really straight like these. Alright, so turn off the mean crease, and then loop select these edges right here. The ones that are literally going to make it no difference. So this will make a difference, but it's not going to make that much of a difference. So that did take off that little curvature, but just removing it, it's just going to make it better. Also for edges like this that are really close, once you get it to like studio, it's going to have some like shading errors. So I suggest you just delete them, move these like down to fill them in. So stuff like that. Also, if it's bad on one edge, you could just um, drag that all the way up, so you don't have any problems. Uh, also, you want to uh, mark sharp all these edges right here, and then that's gonna be this type of hair. If you want to optimize this type of hair right here. All you gotta do is apply subdivision. Since this is going to need to be curved, all you need to do is just take off these two loop cuts right here. It's gonna be curved. If you want it more curved, you can go here, bring it down, slide it down, slide that down. And it's gonna have basically the same curve, but less less uh, loop cuts also if you want to select this whole thing together see i only selected that half just merge these together and it will it'll work like that so you can just select the whole thing so if you wanted the texture on here you just add it before it and then add it on here as separate strands you wouldn't be able to extrude strands otherwise it won't save the same texture unless I, I haven't figured that out yet but I'm pretty sure you can't do that um yeah also if you're trying to make a UGC make sure to have your texture 250 by 200 no 256 by 256 um right here also make sure you um UV unwrap your stuff to like the best so you can scale it all the way out so you, you don't have pixelated textures so basically that's all you need to do for hair um to make a hair like this just keep on going at it I wasn't good at first so I mean you guys could be good better than me but just saying 
probably gonna suck at at first but you'll get better uh yeah make sure you like subscribe please try to hit 3k before um end of the year uh hope you guys enjoyed this video and peace